If you had the ability and the training to visualize the inner workings of structures within the human body, would you use it? If you had a machine that can help you diagnose medical conditions at the bedside, would you use it? The goal of bedside renal ultrasonography is to rapidly evaluate the patient presenting with flank pain, abdominal pain, with hematuria, or decreased urinary output to answer a few basic questions. Is there hydronephrosis? Is there fluid around the kidney? Is the bladder distended? Are there stones seen? The disadvantages of renal ultrasonography are that it does not assess renal function, as IVP does and it cannot typically identify the size of the uteral stone. Again, place the probe along the right mid-axillary line to find the longitudinal view of the right kidney. To review, the kidney is football shaped, usually between 9 and 12 centimeters in length and 4 to 5 centimeters in width. Notice the hyperechoic diaphragm on the left side of the screen and the liver above. The transverse view of the kidney appears C-shaped. The bright area around the kidney is gerodos fascia and perinephritic fat. These are normal findings. The renal cortex and pyramids are found on the periphery of the kidney and appear grainy. The central area of the kidney, the renal sinus, will appear bright and consist of the calyces, renal pelvis, and renal sinus fat. It is a good idea to always scan both kidneys for comparison. Ureters are usually not well visualized with ultrasound, but when distended, may appear as tubular structures extending inferiorly from the kidney. From the transverse position, you can see if the kidney has any blood flow. On the ultrasound console, find the color button. Simply place the colored Doppler box around the area of the hilum. Press pause now. Press play when ready to continue. Hydronephrosis is the distension and dilation of the renal pelvis and calyces, usually caused by obstruction. Untreated can lead to progressive atrophy of the kidney. These are the different degrees of hydronephrosis, ranging from mild to severe. As you can see from this renal ultrasound, the central portion, the medulla, has multiple dark areas that could be confused with cysts. But upon fanning the ultrasound probe, you can actually see these structures coalescing to form dilated calyces. Comparing this ultrasound to our cartoon rendition, you can see that the image represents mild hydronephrosis. Here's an example of moderate hydronephrosis. Recognize how much more pronounced the dilated calyces have become. This is an example of severe hydronephrosis. Note that the shape of the kidney is completely obliterated. Renal cysts can sometimes be mistaken for hydronephrosis. Cysts are typically single and arise in the periphery of the kidney, but can be multiple as in polycystic kidney disease. Here's an example of kidney stones with acoustic shadowing. To visualize the urinary bladder in the transverse plane, place the ultrasound probe approximately two centimeters superior to the pubic symphysis. Here's an example of a full urinary bladder. In these two examples, free fluid can be seen posterior to the bladder. In the female scan, note the position of the uterus between the bladder and the free fluid. This is the pelvic cul-de-sac, 
or the pouch of Douglas, which is another potential space between the uterus and the rectum. Best images are obtained when the bladder is full. As the ultrasound wave travels through the medium, it releases some of its energy and reflects back to the probe as an echo. The result is a dampening of the wave or reduction in its amplitude. This process is known as attenuation. The greater the distance the sound has to travel, the more attenuation will occur. Sound travels faster through the urinary bladder because of its lower attenuation and thus renders structures located beneath it to appear hyperechoic, a phenomenon called acoustic enhancement. Acoustic enhancement is often used to differentiate cysts, which are lower attenuation structures and thus form acoustic enhancement, from cystic tumors and abscesses that have higher attenuation. A normal urinary bladder should display acoustic enhancement. Here's an example of dilated urinary ureters seen below the urinary bladder in the transverse view. For the most part, ureters are difficult to find because their view is usually obstructed by bowel. This is the longitudinal or sagittal view of the urinary bladder. It appears triangular in shape. Make sure the indicator marker on the probe is toward the patient's head. Confirming the position of the Foley catheter is easy. In the longitudinal and transverse view, one can appreciate the Foley catheter and its balloon apparatus within the bladder. 